This virtual manufacturing services programmer series video is on how to align models and get them oriented the way you want in both mill and lathe. So first thing you want to do is make sure that you have face select turned on and as you see this model is all jacked up. So after you're done cussing about the designer and the way he positioned it, let's get down to business. If I select that face and right click and go align face to CS, you see how it puts that right on center of that hole? But we're still in the wrong uh, orientation. We want it to be this to be the face. So we go up to our CS list, go new coordinate system, go to our coordinate system palette, and just click XY one time. Now we can select that face, right click, align face to CS, boom, it's that way. You say you want the other side to be the front. No big deal. Right click, align this face to CS, it's flipped around. Then you can simply go back to your ZX plane here not by clicking here you close this out just go back to this one and you're ready to either pull geometry off or use slice plane to go ahead and turn your part that's it on the lay side so here we have a mill part where the orientation is all jacked up so with face select turned on i'm going to select this face here right click align face to cs and whatever face i select to align to it's going to put it in the center of that entity. So if I right click on this one and align face to CS, it puts it in the middle of that elongated hole. But I want this wall to be parallel to the X axis. So I'm going to turn edges on here. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to select this edge, right click, extract it, and click do it. And I'm going to go modify absolute rotate from, I don't know what angle that is. So if I swipe this field and go alt click, it tells me it's at 18 degrees. I want to move it to zero. So I can delete this now. I don't need it. Let's rotate it to zero. Let's go modify shrink wrap. And it sucks in the stock around there. Now I want the origin at the back left corner. So in that case, I can just open up my document control, go modify move part origin, and I can copy and paste these numbers. Control C and Control V. And control C here, control V here, do it. Origins in the back left corner. That's all there is to it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.